no! Oh no, it's a tiger. Hey everyone, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the, uh, the Strategic Command, the American Civil War mess that we find ourselves in right now. It is February 1864. As you can see, the frontier by Washington's not looking great. If you think that's bad, uh, take a look at this. This is the Midwest. <laughs> oh, man. So what are we going to do? We have to do something. Now, we've already won in what I will call the Far West. That's out here um, where we defeated the foe and uh, we have driven them out and destroyed them. Now we're bringing these guys up to Denver to transport east to help out. This is what I just, I think I'll just call this the West, kind of Missouri. Uh, everything west of the uh, Mississippi will be called the West. And we're doing okay, sort of, kind of here. Sort of, kind of. But it's the Midwest. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Uh, particularly now, Illinois, which is like, they've, they've got people out and I've got nothing out here to stop them where the real problem is. And then you got the Shenandoah Valley, which they're cleaning up, unfortunately. And can this guy, I for, now he can only go, why could he go there and not here? It's I know it's zone of controls, but it sucks. Uh, and then you've got this here, which is a total mess. So what are we going to do? Well, we got to do something. We can't stay on the defensive. The Confederates right now, um, in terms of MPPs, you can see that they are verging on 1500 right around in there. That's the collected income. Whilst, oh, that's the United States. I'm sorry. The Confederate States are over 1800 so 1890 so let's just call it almost 1900 uh yeah that's um that means they can outproduce us and they've got spain on their side and england's about to come into the war so we may have some spanish troops soon so we got to do something my opinion is this front we can't hope to accomplish much on there's no room to maneuver They've got tons of troops and supply here with their capital so close. So the Midwest, on the other hand, um, and the West do show promise. So we're going to – the plan that the president has decided upon is – he calls it the Indiana plan. Uh, his Some of his counselors call it the Midwest murder plan. And we're going to try to funnel almost all of our reinforcements into this Midwestern front – and see if we can't drive back, grab some of these. Uh, they have a couple of cities here. <clears throat> They've captured them that are uh, fighting spirit cities. See if we can get some of those back. See if we can get more MPPs by capturing more cities. And maybe even over here, hopefully we can uh, we can push this back and collapse this. Because there can't be much in here. Um, and if we could drive down into Kentucky... You know, we might have something. Here's a primary supply source. That would be a great place to grab, etc. So that's the rough outlines of the plan that we have. Is, are we confident in this plan? No, we're not. But, you know, I was thinking, can I still do diplomacy with Spain? I can't. I can do it with the UK. Um, what's it cost me? I know more money than I have. Great. All right. So let's just go ahead. That's the idea that I've come up with. And I think we're going to try and pursue that. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. Great. I'm not really too worried about all this stuff down in the uh, um, Caribbean. Or should I say the Caribbean? However you're supposed to say it. Um, but, uh, you know. Hey, it gives me something to do, and if by some miracle we could actually win down there, it would help us a little bit. Yeah, we don't really need any pro-Confederate bushwhackers. We had enough problems with the real Confederates, but <laughs> obviously they're not listening to me. Okay, yep. And we no longer are blockading that port. Oh, very good. 
that port up north because they sunk our navy because pretty much the Confederate Navy, along with the Spanish Navy, owns the coastlines of America. They have totally devastated our Union Navy and um, we're in big trouble now. So, yes, things are bad. Oh, they captured my city, their town, whatever it is. Yeah, we still got a few ships out here, but they're not going to last long. Bye bye. So, there you go. So, this is, you know. <laughs> I don't quite know how to describe how bad I think this is, but uh, anyway. Let's see what the AI is going to do here. We'll be, it's, in, it's March 17th now, so, quote, campaigning season, unquote, should be starting fairly soon, although in this game it kind of goes year-round, which, as I've said this before, the, I wish there was something they could do in the, with the game mechanics to um, to try and slow that down, but apparently not. All right, Let's see what they're going to do. If anything more, yeah, Evansville is a fighting spirit objective. So if we can get Evansville. That would be great. Probably need to try to put a task force together to get there. We're actually not that far from it. I just don't know what the Confederates have out there. Oh, man. oh boy. <laughs> Spanish Navy's everywhere. Here it is there. <sighs> They're proud the Spaniards may invade and take Fort Monroe. Confederates don't seem interested enough to come down and do it. So we'll see. Anyway, we pull MPPs from there, so I'll take it as long as they'll let me have it. Yeah. I'm afraid you're going to die, son. Look at that. Ten to four. One hit. Across the river. He's gone. No, he's not. Wow, good job. Okay, hang on, boys. Hang on. Come on, slaughter those rebels charged across that river. You can do it. Oh, boy. And he's gone. Lost another one. Didn't lose a thing on that attack. Oh, no. Beautiful. That seems to be a tough place for the Confederates to get supply to for some reason. I'm not quite sure uh, why. And there go my partisans, more partisans, more brave Indiana citizens fighting for their freedom, slaughtered by the ruthless, radical rebels. That sounds like propaganda. That's right. <laughs> and... Took one off me and two off him. Hey, we actually want to fight for once. What do you know? Okay. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. They're, they've got that guy cut off and surrounded, so that's bad. Uh, yeah, they're... Spanish are doing pretty well down here for themselves, actually. Ugh. More territory taken by the Rebs. More of the bloodthirsty fanatics capturing innocent civilians, subjecting them to a life of torment with no freedom. And they're driving into Illinois. And they're driving on wherever that was. Basically, just driving. Everywhere. And I have not much to stop them with. Ugh. Only I keep saying this. 
Sound like the Germans after World War II. If we only had more troops, blah, blah, blah. And that's what I sound like, because that's how I feel right now. <laughs> uh, Mexican imperialists, okay. Mexican liberals, alrighty. I am watching the thing in Mexico, because I might have to move there after this is over. Partisans in Cuba. Demand independence from Spain. Hey, Apache warriors. Doing their thing. Well, geez, these poor Confederate bushwhackers are a pain in my buttocks. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if I get any reinforcements. Let's hope so. Uh, Jackson, okay, he's in the valley. Brigade near Shreveport. Frigate, of course. And I do, so yay. All right, let's start down here. Um, gosh, really? Man, can't move him. So I want to move in there and attack that. Not that it would do much good. Well, I, I don't know what to do. I can't attack without getting losing more troops than I need otherwise. Well, let's check the partisans. Okay, so we've got a zone of control on him. All right, let's... No. He might kill you. Let's... Reinforce and then try to threaten him from... Meanwhile... Oh, there's a guy. Great. Okay, and that's it for that. So where's... Uh, where's Cuber? There's my boys. So we're going to have you come down here and grab this. Meanwhile, you're really in trouble. So let's skedaddle over here, grab this uh, uh, industrial hex, and see what we got going. All right, I don't know how much, if any, uh, we have left in terms of union. Well, we got this guy. Um, why not put him in a port, see if I can. I know they get more MPPs that way, but psh, at this point. All right, um, now let's come up here. Here we go. Um, yeah, see, we're not that far from Evansville, so. I can put him there, not exactly where I want him, but in Sheridan is also going to... Or do I need him? Well, you know what? Oh, they've got a HQ there. They've got, we've got, looks like plenty of HQs actually. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm bringing him in here, and Sheridan's gonna try to coordinate a drive on Evansville. <laughs> Got him. So that's gone. Let's reinforce you. And wait a minute. Let's just go out west and get this done. Um, I thought you were on the right hex. Cannot be used due to Confederate... Oh, crap. Seriously? Because I can't. It's the only way I can get across here. Uh, well, here, let's move him up anyway. It might become available at some point, so, you know, it's not going to hurt to have my boys up here. So what towns now do we... No. Confederates, ben, Bennis Fort, Colorado, Fort Riley, Kansas. They've probably got Fort Riley, Kansas, wherever that is. 
I don't know, but they probably got it. They got Fort Scott. They got Fort Belmont. Okay, whatever. There. Take that. And that. that. Tired of sitting around doing nothing. Um... There's Fort Riley. We're going to come down and capture Fort Riley. Get that thing working again. Okay, that's all right. So we're all done here. Beat them up pretty well. Um, yeah, if we can upgrade, let's do it. Okay. Over here, um, you're going to have to go a different way. There they are. Okay. I know that's kind of a bummer for you in terms of an HQ, so let's move him up here. Two to six. Beautiful. Ah! Not as nice as I would have liked, but okay. Meanwhile, you got to reinforce. Um, Evansville is open at the moment. It won't be next turn. You watch. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to waste that on skirmishers. I think we're all okay here. He needs skirmishers, too. You know what? I'll give him skirmishers. Some of these guys I will, some I won't. I, I don't think with a brigade it's probably worth it, but maybe with a uh, division it might be. So let's see how that goes now. Let's come across here. Um... Shift you this way. Beautiful. Yeah, no way to shift you, but I think. Yes. So, wiped him out. That's good. That's very good. So, you could attack, but then that you're going to die if you do. So, we'll do that. We'll put Butler back in Annapolis again. Um, uh, we're going to bring you down here and shoot this guy. Hopefully that's the right call. We'll get you reinforced. Ditto with you. Boy, this guy needs... No, he's all right. Um, no. So in that case, we'll just reinforce. There's another fighting spirit objective that, that we own that one okay so um ah all right so now i didn't even see you guys here what the where where did these guys come from oh they're my marines all right we're gonna send one down here to slow these boys down and um, the rest of you. I wonder if I should go ahead and spend the money. Really? What can I upgrade on these guys? Yeah. All right. He can't get there. How about if I force march him? At least get in the way. So we're going to spend the money, sadly. 
to move this guy here because I think that's important that I hang on to that. Um, we're going to shift you here. You're going there. Five to one. Holy cow. Let's reinforce you. Um, let's look at this first. And this guy, I don't know why they're just letting him sit there, but they are. So. Beautiful. Now we're getting weak, though. That's a little kill zone that we've got set up here. Let's shift. And uh, unfortunately, you're the weak spot right now, but... Uh, there's not much I can do about that. But if they keep feeding troops up here, this seems to be a spot they have trouble with supply on. Um, uh, maybe not. Whatever. Let's just go ahead. I'm leaving them there. It's kind of stupid, but if it'll draw troops to them or shield these guys, then I think in the long run it's actually a smart move. Dang it. Full strength, huh? How much is that? That's... Yeah, everything. <sighs> wow, that's bad. That's bad. All right. Well, I think I've done everything. Let me just look around here and make sure I don't have any other units that I brought in that I forgot about, like the Marines there. Um... I don't see anything. So, boy, what a mess. Let's go ahead. Yeah, he's going to die. And those bushwhackers think they'd run out of bushes to whack, but apparently not. Yes, our brave boys. You can't sink the island, Confederates and Spanish people. War Department, okay. Okay. Uh, see that, 1252, and they're hitting 19 to 2,000. Wow, that's bad. That's, dang it, that's what I didn't want to see happen. Oh well. Yeah, put someone in Evansville. Yeah, <laughs> got it. You dirty. Um, knew that would happen, of course. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay, if you're going to let me kill him, I'll be happy to. Uh, pretty good at covering its bases like that. Although, I don't think I can kill him this turn because Washington, D.C. has got to be reinforced and so does the guy up the line. Although, I might be able to swap it out. Still waiting to see. Hopefully, it's going to be a long. Oh, wait, wait. Is this the invasion force that I was just speaking about to say? How long is it going to be before the Spanish come ashore? How hard it would be to take Norfolk. I think if you tried that early in the oh crap, early in the game you might really get somewhere. Oh no, I missed him. I missed him. He's fine. Uh, so that unhinges that front. Gosh, look at this. 
It's insane. Ugh. We're already suffering setbacks on the I plan. The Indiana plan, the Midwest murder. We'd maybe change that to the Midwest muddle. <laughs> I don't know. It ain't looking good here. Uh, we don't surrender. Nor shall we retreat until we have to, of course. I think I'm going to pull my other guy back to guard the capital. Uh, this doesn't seem to be going too well. Ugh. See, they... They can afford not to have troops there. Maybe they do have troops there back further than I can't see them. But I can't afford that. That's the advantage of being on the offensive. You get to pick and choose, and your enemy has to cover as many bases as possible. Ugh. Yeah. All right, Meade, you got to fight for it, buddy. Wishing now I had stayed. That's two, two, one. So the Spanish are apparently fully modernized. Oh, they've got a train thing now. Okay, armored train. Great. They got MPPs now. They can build other stuff besides just them. Maybe they're running out of infantry to build. That that would be nice. Yes, Union Partisans. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Okay. Very, very interesting. No reinforcements. That's bad. That is bad. All right, so this is the capital. I know they've got to have troops in it, but... Yep, so they got this there, this there. I'm kind of between both things. I'm also kind of in a good spot to get destroyed. I can't. Let's move here and just cut them off. I know they've got supply here, but still it might help. I'm afraid if I move... Uh, are these, I don't know if these are mine or if these are their, um, partisans. <sighs> but I got to do something. So, I'm keeping you there. I'm going to drive you down here. Let's just see what happens. Let's pull you one more hex back because this guy's threatening the capital. <clears throat> so let's go on to Cuba. See what we got going here. Can I reinforce? Yes. Only two points, but I guess I'll take that. Wow, you're all right. Let's come down here and see if we grab this village, if that'll help anything. Meanwhile, we're coming down here and grabbing this. Uh, meanwhile, all over the place, we got lots of meanwhiles. Um, we got you. You look like you might be good, and then maybe I can go for an industrial center. That would be sweet. Meanwhile, we got uh, some problems here. Let's hello. Here we go. Yeah. Let's take this and hold it. Now it's open. So this guy should go. Uh, 
this turn and you should be able to get some of these guys out there. Uh, they're going to be exhausted and the morale is going to suck, but they'll be there. So I think we'll just... No need to force march everybody. Else. Okay, so that's that. Meanwhile... Uh, let's pull you straight down here. Can we please kill this guy? Probably not. You're pretty weak. Yes! Oh, beautiful job. Absolutely beautiful. And we picked up a town. Ha <laughs> ha! And ha! Can I get back there? Yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's reinforce you. Uh, very good. That was a nice little turn. This, on the other hand, sucks majorly. You are going to grab this turn. You're going to reinforce, too. Gee, didn't realize how weak these guys were. Um... rough but they're coming out on the end so hopefully on the lower end of the stick so hopefully that'll help all right so green castles weakening but they still hold it ooh ooh -hoo. Got it. Ah, he ran away, the little coward. It's actually a very smart move, but we won't tell people that. Grinding them down as the massive Indiana offensive continues. Got him. Got him. But we're we're very weak in return. That's not good. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Um, hmm. And well, in that case, we'll reinforce you and you and. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! McClellan, you did something brave and you got your butt kicked. Sorry. So thanks to that stupid move, we're going to lose that. Not that that's a huge deal, but it still bothers me. That's insane. Six to one. That's craziness. Look at that. That's nuts. I can't do a dang thing to him. Beautiful. All right, we're going to risk it. We're open and vulnerable. No, you're going to get reinforced. Not upgraded, although that might be nice. We're going to go ahead and risk it. Oh, gosh. That's really bad. All right. Well, we got to do something, right? Um, I keep saying that, but, you know, it's kind of, sort of, definitely true. Okay, what do we got left to purchase? I could buy cheap cores, but I'd rather... I mean, divisions, but I'd rather buy cores. If I can only buy one, I might as well get the best one possible. Really? Wait, hold on. I can't get a, even a brigade? Uh, okay, that's all right. Uh, I think that's... Uh, oh, wait. Mm. Well, let's look. Can I actually do the UK? 
No, I still don't have funds. Let's, I haven't looked, so, I, and I don't want to, but we're going to. Ready? Oh, 12%. 12%. They're at 104. The Spaniards are at 99. Holy guacamole. Ay, ay, ay. No wonder my troops aren't doing so good. They're hanging in there, doing pretty good, actually, all things considered. Yes! Yes! No! And I need some reinforcements this coming turn. I really need some reinforcements in the Midwest. Please to be giving me reinforcements. Oh crap, I forgot to move um what's his name? Stuart. Dang it. <sighs> Look at that, 13. Mm. Alright, what will they do? I'm hoping they're going to... They do this all the time, fake you out, and then they attack. So I'm not getting excited. I'm not getting excited about this. Yeah. Man, they're reinforcing Green Castle. Pulling back from there so Meade will survive. Uh, at least for a while, but I know somebody else who probably won't. But let's wait and see what they do. Come on, AI. Come on. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> Trust me. You guys got nothing to worry about on the ocean. Except maybe the storms. It's clearly my Navy. Most of it's resting in Davy Jones' locker, and that's where it's going to stay. Ah! I was afraid of this. Yeah, wipe me out. Ugh. They're breaking the line. Look at that. It's gone. Oh. This is the kind of stuff that just makes it impossible. Thank you for not attacking Washington, D.C. Yeah, you're coming at me from my school. Those are Spanish troops. They are here. They've landed, and now they're fighting. They've broken through and are attacking Cincinnati. Banks is failing. They now have a pincer movement developing on Cincinnati. McClellan is dead. This news just in. McClellan is dead. Advance on Indianapolis looks like it's renewing. They have wiped out a core that stood in their way. The road to Indianapolis is wide open from the south. Cincinnati It's not quite yet But Banks, I think that was Banks is gone He is dead as well Our generals die fighting bravely at the front But they die
Oh. He's gone. So we have a breakthrough outside of the Shenandoah Valley into what is that, Pennsylvania, I guess. Oh, man. Cincinnati has fallen. Cincinnati has fallen. This news just in from WKRP in Cincinnati. Rebels have taken over. Venus flytrap has fled the city. <laughs> and, uh, holy, maybe I should have stayed on the defensive. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's, I was right, though. I mean, we can't, you can't win defending. That is the Union. So, win, lose, or draw was the right choice. D.H. Hills moved into Paducah. Units are surrounded in the hinterlands of Ohio or Indiana or uh, something. Maybe Illinois, I can't really tell. It uh, doesn't matter. Hagerstown is threatened with immediate occupation. Bait division suffers attrition losses, so they're having trouble getting supply. Union spirit, oh boy. Is this it? I think I need, I'm going to have to get lower than 12, I think, but I don't know. I've never played this. Went all the way through. Well, we made it almost halfway through 1864 at this point, so. Ay, ay, ay. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. The Indiana plan came too late. Abraham Lincoln fled in terror after suffering a nervous breakdown as his wife was throwing the dishes at him and screaming something. No one quite understood about Timmy or somebody. At any rate, the Confederates have won a major victory and the Union has fallen. So here we go. Let's take a look up here at the major fronts. I was not expecting to have to do this. Look at this. Look at all these engineers they have, which are just sitting there doing nothing. So they had two Spanish units here. No HQ that I can see. There's Polk and Jackson. Look at this. Look at the few number of units they used. Here, the breakthrough, yeah. And, of course, what did me in was Cincinnati. When I lost Cincinnati... That was it. That was too much. The war was over. Uh, sadly, Grant and Sheridan were never able to really mount a drive on Evansville. The troops they were going to begin with or die, or well, they, the war ended with them surrounded. Indianapolis was under immediate threat, but had not yet been taken. However, troops were only seven miles from the city center. So uh, there you have it, folks. Let me just zoom out to give you a kind of a bigger picture. See what's out here. It's kind of always interesting to see what the enemy has. Yeah, you know, the Indian territories. Yep, you were right, CD. The Indian territories were why you couldn't go in there, which is frustrating for me, but probably just as well because if I... Look at that. How did, how did he get in there? That's kind of an interesting thing. Um, yeah, I'm... Oh, that's... Is he Mexican? What is he? No, he's Confederate. Okay, so this must... Well, whatever. Yeah, because that's the road that takes me... And this is where I came up. So he's not near. Yeah, for a minute there I thought he was near that, but he's not. He's way down here. Okay, that's all right. So we get these guys here. You can just get the overview. Well, that's it, guys. I've managed to completely lose. And in a disgraceful manner, I might add. <laughs> the Civil War. Embarrassing all of my ancestors in Indiana. All right. Hey, I saved Indianapolis, people. Don't, don't whine too much. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, 
we're going to uh, do a Confederate campaign. And um, we'll be talking more about that very soon. But for now, this is the defeated, the shamed Wargaming Guys. And I was trying to come up with another adjective and I couldn't think of one. Saying thanks for watching. Subscribe, please, to the channel for more craziness like this. And until next time, take care and I'll see you later. <laughs>